Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another WW Weekly Meal Prep. I cannot wait to share my recipes with you. I'm going to be making a recipe for breakfast. Super excited, I'm gonna show you a new fun kitchen gadget. And then we're gonna make a delicious, easy summertime lunch and we are going to make a summertime dessert that is perfect for all of your upcoming get-togethers and barbecues throughout summer. So if you wanna see what I am prepping for the week, all WW friendly, all absolutely positively delicious, then all you have to do is stay tuned. For breakfast this week, I'm gonna be making mini breakfast waffle sandwiches. I am so incredibly excited for these. It sounds delicious. I'm gonna pair my breakfast sandwich with some fruit. So let me show you what you need to make the sandwich. So first the waffle and then we'll talk about the ingredients. So first you're going to need a waffle maker. So this is the adorable mini waffle maker. This is the Dash brand look at how cute this is i bought this on amazon i want to say it was less than ten dollars i will link it down in my description box below but this thing is so cute it makes the perfect breakfast sandwich size waffles so I, you'll need a little mini waffle maker you'll need some protein powder and you definitely want a high quality protein powder in my opinion the best on the market is the devotion angel food cake this protein powder is so delicious there is zero aftertaste zero chalky flavor it is so good it is excellent in waffles fabulous in protein shakes it really is just in my opinion the best of the best when it comes to protein powder it is only one smart point per scoop so extremely low and absolutely delicious you can use my code here on the screen to save you 10 percent all you have to do is click the link down in the description box at the checkout screen, enter my code, and voila, you have 10% off your order at Devotion Nutrition. Love this protein powder. You're also going to need some pancake mix. You can use Kodiak cakes, but I'm gonna use Birch Benders, and this is the protein pancake mix. This, I think, makes the best breakfast sandwiches. I like it better than the Kodiak, so I'm gonna use that. I believe this is in my Amazon store as well. You'll need some seltzer water. That's the trick of the trade to make your waffles nice and fluffy. And then you're going to also need some egg whites. So if that's everything to make our delicious mini waffles. And then for filling, I'm going to do some scrambled eggs. And in my scrambled eggs, I'm going to add some Jimmy Dean fully cooked turkey sausage crumbles. I'm gonna mix that in with my eggs. I'm gonna top my egg patty with some Jarlsberg light reduced fat Swiss cheese, one smart point per slice. And then I'm also going to top it with one smart point of avocado. These are the frozen avocado chunks that I purchased at Costco. I love these because I can never eat avocado fast enough and this makes it so easy where it never ever goes bad. So that's gonna be the topping of my breakfast sandwich. So let's get started making these little mini waffles. So to make our waffles, I went ahead and halved the original big ass waffle recipe. This is from Mud Hustler. Because my waffle maker is mini, I didn't think that it would, I thought it would be too much to do the whole recipe in the mini waffle maker. So I went ahead and halved it. So I have half of a scoop of the Devotion Nutrition Angel Food Cake Protein Powder. I have one eighth of a cup of the Birch Benders Protein Pancake Mix. I have one egg white. And I have a quarter cup of seltzer water. Now, I don't know that I'm going to use it all. I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit and stir this. Since I did have the recipe, I'm not sure exactly how much liquid I'm going to need. So it looks like a quarter cup is going to be just pretty darn close to the right amount of liquid. 
just shy of a quarter cup if you're gonna go ahead and have the recipe. So I'll put the original recipe down below and then I'll let you know what modifications I made in order to half it. But there is my mix and it's ready to go into my mini waffle maker. You're gonna go ahead and heat up your mini waffle maker, spray it with some nonstick cooking spray. I just used this avocado oil spray. Then we are going to pop it open and we're going to put in about half of our mix only because we want to save the other half for one more waffle to make our breakfast sandwich. Also, by cutting the recipe in half, it also allows us to have the points of the original waffle since we are adding all of that really good filling into our waffle as well, our eggs and avocado. All right, so go ahead and add in your filling, close your waffle maker, and then the light will go off when it is ready to go. Once your light goes off, your waffle is ready. Look at that perfect little waffle. So cute. So I went ahead and grabbed out a plate. I'm just going to put them all on the plate. So we're going to give it another quick spray. And then we're going to add the other half of our mix. I guess you probably, now that I'm thinking about it, using the entire quarter cup of seltzer water is probably better only because your mix won't be as thick as mine and it'll probably be a little bit easier to put it onto the waffle maker. So the next one I am going to go ahead and do the entire quarter cup of seltzer water. So I'm going to be a waffle making fool here just so that I can make exactly enough waffles for the week. I'm going to need 10 total because I need two waffles per day for my sandwich. So close it up. When the light goes off, it's ready to go. Here are our waffles. Look at how adorable these are. They are literally the perfect size for a breakfast sandwich. So we're gonna use two per day. So now we're gonna do our egg and sausage mixture. Get that cooked up and then we will add a slice of cheese and bag up our avocado and we are good to go. So let's get started on our eggs. So now let's get started on our eggs. So I'm gonna do two eggs per day. I did go ahead and weigh out a little over one cup, so about one and an eighth cup of the turkey sausage crumbles. This entire bowl is only five smart points, so it will be one point of sausage per day. So I'm gonna crack 10 eggs whisk in some sausage and we'll get our eggs cooking. We're gonna do a scrambled egg and then we're just going to cook them one by one in my little microwave egg cooker. I'll show that to you, it's so awesome. And then it'll be the perfect shape and size for our waffle sandwiches. eggs we're gonna use my handy microwave egg cooker this thing is awesome you can crack a whole egg in there or put in scrambled eggs so really easy I found this at Ross so I'm gonna go ahead and spray it with a little bit of nonstick cooking spray I'm going to add about a third cup or so of my egg and sausage mixture I just want to make sure that I have enough for all five days and then I'm going to add in a little bit of onion salt and I'm also going to grind in a little bit of fresh pepper. And then we're literally going to put this in the microwave for just about one minute. And it comes out with a perfectly cooked egg. And there is your perfectly cooked egg. So I'm just going to repeat this for all five eggs. I'll set this one aside, allow it to cool, and then we'll be ready to assemble our breakfast sandwiches. Easy peasy, easiest cleanup ever with this little egg cooker as well. Once your eggs are cooked, we're ready to assemble our sandwiches. So you're going to take one half of your mini waffle. We're going to add one of our egg pieces. We're also going to add one slice of our Jarlsberg Swiss cheese. I love this cheese. It is a full slice, none of that thin stuff for one smart point. We're gonna place that on top and then we're going to top it with the other half of our waffle. And look at this, thick, delicious breakfast sandwich. We're gonna put that into our meal prep container. I did weigh out one smart point worth of my frozen avocado. So I'm just going to put that in one of these handy dandy little to-go cups. I love these things. And then I'm just going to place that in my meal prep container 
with my sandwich. So that is it for that. Then I'm going to bag up some fruit. We'll put this in the other side here and then I'll show you the completed breakfast. So I've went ahead and added a bag of blueberries. I'm going to have some blueberries with some days and some strawberries with others. I've got my breakfast sandwich, my avocado. So the waffle itself is two smart points. The cheese is one and the eggs is one because of the turkey sausage crumbles. So the sandwich itself is only four smart points. That's it, you guys, for that huge breakfast sandwich. And then this here is one smart point of avocado to add some healthy fat. So this is a five smart point breakfast. It is full of protein because we have egg, sausage, cheese, and we use the Birch Benders protein mix. So what a fantastic, satisfying, filling breakfast for only five smart points. So for lunch this week, I'm gonna do some marinated chicken tenderloins, and I'm really excited. I'm going to be making a dill potato salad. You can have real potato salad on WW, and a lot of it for low smart points. So I'm gonna show you a phenomenal recipe for dill potato salad, and then I'll show you here what I'm gonna be marinating my chicken in. So I have some chicken breast tenders. I will, as per the usual, cut out the gross white thing in the tenders. I literally Really hate that thing so I just go ahead and I cut it out these I really like they're organic they're not made with rib meat no antibiotics no hormones really really good chicken so I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the white thing get the chicken marinating while we make the salad and I'm gonna marinate it in this G Hughes sugar-free lemon herb marinade I have never tried this I'm so incredibly excited you can have one tablespoon of the marinade for 10 calories and zero smart points. There's no sugar, there's nothing in this marinade that constitutes points. So my chicken will actually be zero. I did find this marinade on nutrition.com. Go down to the description box, click the link. It'll directly take you to nutrition and you can find this marinade. I am really excited to try this. So go ahead and leave me a comment below if you want to know how it is because by the time you see this video I would have tried the marinade. So chicken will be marinating in that while we put together the salad. So for the dill potato salad you're going to need two pounds of small potatoes. This is actually two pounds six ounces so I'll just weigh out six ounces and set those aside but I have two bags here of the private selection petite medley tri-colored potatoes red white and purple. You'll need some fresh dill, scallions, of course some salt and pepper, apple cider vinegar, non-fat Greek yogurt, and light mayo. So first let's get our chicken marinating, then we'll get started on our potato salad. I went ahead and trimmed all of my chicken tenders, got all the white things out. This, you guys, smells amazing. So I'm going to just dump some into my chicken, about a half of a cup or so. As you know, marinade doesn't, you don't need all of the marinade. A lot of it is left in the bag. That still leaves me over half of the bottle. I'm gonna give this a good squish and throw this in the fridge while we make our potato salad. The first thing we need to get started for our potato salad is we need to get our potatoes boiling. So I went ahead and removed six ounces. So this is exactly two pounds of the baby potatoes. I'm gonna let these come to a boil, pop a lid on them, and we're gonna cook them for 10 to 15 minutes until we can pierce them with a fork. And then we're gonna add a little bit of apple cider vinegar, and in the meantime, we'll dice up our dill and our scallions, measure out our mayo and our yogurt. While our potatoes are coming to a boil, I've measured out one half of a cup of light mayo, one half of a cup of non-fat Greek yogurt on my food scale. I'm gonna dice up my scallions and my dill, and then we'll be ready to start assembling our potato salad. potatoes are cooking we're gonna mix together the dressing of our potato salad we're gonna go ahead and pop that into the fridge to cool while our potatoes are finishing so what I have here is one half of a cup of light mayo so we'll add that make sure you use a big enough bowl to accommodate your potatoes once they're done cooking as well also half of a cup of non-fat Greek yogurt and it's nice to do a mix of mayo and yogurt because you can't taste the yogurt, but it gives you that little added extra creaminess to your recipe. So definitely love having the option of adding in the Greek yogurt. 
Also, we have two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. We have our cut up scallion. And I have some extra over here on my cutting board that I'll add. And we have our cut up dill. And then I do, like I said, have a little bit extra scallions and stuff here on my cutting board that I couldn't fit in my little bowl. So I'm gonna go ahead and add those. And then we're just going to give this a good mix until everything is nice and combined. And then we're gonna go ahead and put this into the refrigerator. It'll cool while our potatoes continue to cook. Once your potatoes are done, you're gonna go ahead, whoo, we're gonna get steamy, sorry guys. You're gonna go ahead and drain those. We're gonna add an additional two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar to our potatoes. We're gonna give that kind of a good shake here in our colander, and we're just gonna let these cool, and then we're ready to put together our salad. Once your potatoes are cool enough that you can actually touch them and cut them up, we're gonna cut them into bite-sized pieces and add them directly here to our mixture that's been in the refrigerator. We'll stir it together and we are going to have an amazing potato salad. Once you get your potatoes cut up, we're just gonna go ahead and mix this together. So I cut some of them into quarters and some of the other potatoes I just cut in to halves. So just kind of a mixture of textures and sizes in our potato salad, but this looks amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this all mixed together. We are gonna go ahead and add in some salt and pepper as well, just for some added extra deliciousness. So some salt and some pepper. Give that a good stir, get everything nice and combined. And then we're ready to get our chicken tenderloins thrown into the air fryer. That'll give this a little bit of time to cool. And then we'll put together our lunches for the week. But look at how yummy this looks. Next, we're gonna get our chicken ready to go into the air fryer. So I have the oven style, so I have my tray here. I'm gonna spray it with some nonstick cooking spray. I always do that over parchment to not make such a mess. And then I've got my marinated tenderloins. Look at those, yum. So I'm just gonna lay those out here on my trays. I don't know if I'll need more than one because I do have quite a few tenderloins. And then we'll get ready to put these into our air fryer, but they smell really good with that lemony marinade yum so we're just going to pop those onto our tray if you have the drawer style air fryer you can go ahead and just throw these into the drawer as many as will fit i should be able to cook all of these at once though in my oven air fryer you can also cook these in a pan or in the oven so you don't have to have an air fryer to recreate this recipe I was able to fit them all on one tray. So I'm gonna put this in my air fryer at about 400 degrees. I'll flip them midway, and then I'll be back to show you our completed lunch. We'll put together our meal prep, but I'm super stoked for this week's lunches. I just pulled my chicken tenders out of the air fryer. Look at how amazing these look. So I'm gonna get these divided into my meal prep containers. I'm gonna set one serving aside for today, for lunch and I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm bringing for lunches this week, including the potato salad and a fruit and a sweet treat and I'll give you the smart points. So here is my completed lunch meal prep. So let me show you exactly what I'm taking for lunches this week. So this is one eighth of the dill potato salad recipe. You guys, this potato salad is amazing. The dill is so delicious. That apple cider vinegar gives it just the perfect tang with the sweetness of the scallion. Absolutely, positively delicious. You can have about a thir three quarters of a cup, which is one eighth. So you can see here that I've divided out five heaping three quarter cup servings. And over here I have what's left. So my husband will eat that up, I'm sure. So one eighth of the dill potato salad is only four smart points. What a bargain for potato salad. I also have my tenderloins that I just pulled out of the air fryer. I have about two large tenderloins per day. So I have those divided as well. Those are zero smart points because that marinade is zero. We didn't use enough to count any points. I also have some leftover red apples. So I'm gonna be bringing those for at least three days. 
as you know, the other two days will be camping. So I'll probably grab a watermelon or a cantaloupe or something fun to take camping. And then for dessert, I'm having this. Like the angels are coming down right now because these are so good. This is the peanut nougat cluster. This is the sweet nothing, 35 calories, one smart point, you guys, one. So this is the size of the chocolate. So, I mean, it's a decent sized chocolate for one smart point. It just cures that after meal craving and you can't beat one smart point for a delicious chocolate. Absolutely, positively amazing. I purchased these off of proteinwise.com. Again, there is a $10 discount, $10 off your first order. Click the link down in the description box at checkout, enter my code. It'll take $10 off. These are my very favorite thing in the whole world that I've purchased off of their website. I have every single flavor. I love, love, love them. But this week I decided to take the peanut nougat cluster. So this is one smart point. So my entire lunch, including dessert, is five smart points. This recipe, you have to, have to try. You have to get the sweet nothings. You just have to do it. For desserts this week, we are going to be making a summer favorite we are going to be making mini mojito cake so these are individual serving pre-portioned out best way to go so you don't overindulge so let me show you what is in the ww mojito cake so first you're going to need some zero no flavor carbonated water so i'm just going to use seltzer water sugar-free vanilla cake mix vanilla yellow whatever you can find sugar alternative i'm going to use truvia egg whites butter, unsweetened applesauce, fresh delicious mint, a lime, and last but not least, some rum extract. So let's get started on our mini mojito cakes. So to get started on our cake, in my bowl, I went ahead and added my box of sugar-free yellow cake mix. To that, we are going to add one third cup of unsweetened applesauce, and this is the oil replacement in our recipe. We're also going to add three egg whites and we're going to add one quarter cup of water, one cup of bubbly water, so seltzer water, carbonated water, and then I went ahead and cut up three mint leaves and zest two teaspoons worth of lime. So we're going to go ahead and add all of that. And then lastly, we are going to put in one teaspoon of rum extract. Now, you guys can use a regular rum. You would just have to count the points for it. I'm gonna go ahead and go with the extract and not have to worry about the points. So, because I used the extract is why we added the one quarter cup of water. So, I'm gonna put in one teaspoon of the rum extract. And then with our handheld mixer, we're going to mix this together. And you want to just mix until everything is nice and incorporated together. All right, once you've mixed your ingredients for just about 30 seconds, go ahead and remove your mixer. Here's where we're going to grab our cake pan. So I'm actually using the silicone mini bunt cake molds. I bought these off of Amazon. I will link them down in my description box below. They're so cute. All of the little bunt cakes are different shapes. It's so cute. So I'm going to make sure that I get enough little bunt cakes to make the smart points reasonable. So we're going to go ahead and grab a scoop and we're going to scoop our mixture into our molds. So we're ready to fill our molds. You do not have to spray these with nonstick cooking spray. These are awesome. I do, I am going to be using my large scoop. This I also have in my Amazon store. It comes in a set of three or four and it's under $10. Reasonable, reasonable. So I'm going to use that. My goal is I'd like to get at least 10 bunt cakes and you're going to want to be careful. You want to kind of scoop around the little guy if you can. A little knob here. Um, I'm gonna shoot for 10 bunt cakes. I may try to get 12. We'll see how much batter I have. And then we're gonna get these into the oven and we're gonna have adorable mini mojito cakes. I was able to get 12 mini bunt cakes and I still have 
batter left. So I may throw a couple more in. We'll see kind of how these ones turn out. So 350 degrees until cooked through. While our cakes are cooking, we're gonna go ahead and make our glaze. So what you'll need is one cup of water. This is if you are using rum extract. If you're using real rum, you only need one half of a cup of water. I'm also going to add in a little bit more of my rum extract. So I'm gonna do a little over a teaspoon of that. I decided to do stevia in the raw as my sugar because it's zero points and Truvia, it would add an additional 10 points. And this is literally just the glaze. So I decided to save the points and go with stevia in the raw. And then also we need one half of a cup of light butter. And you're just gonna mix this together, slowly stirring it until it is thickened and become a glaze. And this is what's actually gonna go on our individual little mojito cakes. Just pulled all 12 of our mojito cakes out of the oven. The batter made 14 cakes total. So that is what I'm going to count the points from. However, I decided not to make two additional cakes. I just went ahead and tossed the batter, but you can make two additional little bun cakes. So I'm gonna let these cool for about 15 minutes and then we will add our glaze and I will give you the smart points. But these smell so good. So I just removed my miniature mojito cakes from the tray and these are the only five that didn't come out looking like this so here's my recommendation a little trial and error this is kind of a good thing make sure that you spray your silicone mold first i think they would have come out a lot better but that's okay they're just for me and my husband so no big deal but the ones that came out look so good and delicious so here i have my glaze so i'm just going to give it a quick kind of mix up and then I'm just gonna pour a little glaze into each of my little cakes. And that should give it that nice little sweet, sugary, buttery flavor. And I'll even do the not so pretty cakes as well. We're just gonna drag it across. So there you go. I'm gonna let this kind of soak in. I'll put together a plate and kind of show you the nice looking cakes. I mean, they all taste the same, right? So here's our little miniature mojito cake. So. The ones that turned out, they're so delicious. The lime, the rum, absolutely delicious. You can garnish it with some mint leaves, some zested lime, some whipped cream, some caramel sauce, you name it, but it is absolutely delicious. And I think it is such a great individual pre-portioned serving. And you can have this entire little miniature bunk cake for only three smart points. That's it, three points. And that's just for the cake mix. You didn't use enough of the glaze to count for any butter. So it is a three smart point delicious dessert. So spray your tin guys and they will come out perfect. What a great idea for a summer barbecue or get together. Here's what I'm gonna be bringing for snacks this week and along with me for camping because that will help me stay on track. I'll probably give you guys a quick glimpse into what I'm packing for camping as well uh, to stay on track. So let me first show you what I'm doing this week for the three days that I do work. So I'm going to be taking a one point, this is the Trader Joe's light mozzarella cheese stick, one smart point, great source of protein, really helps keep me full and satisfied when I want some cheese. I also love these. These are so delicious. This is from the Thinables brand from Fiber Gourmet. This is the same company that makes the pasta that I love and makes the Thinable Cheez-It knockoffs. These are so good. These are the cinnamon and sugar. These are only three smart points for this bag. So it's a nice mix of the crunch and the sweet. So these I purchased off of nutrition.com. There is a link down in the description box. Click that. It will take you directly to Nutrition and you can check out all of the awesome, awesome products that they have available that are WW friendly. Also from my Protein Wise Snack Haul, another fantastic website, down in the description box, if you click my link and enter my code, I'll put it here on the screen, you'll get $10 off your first order. So you can get $10 of snacks for free. So some of the snacks that I picked up from Protein Wise, these cookie bites are so good. These are the honey almond, three smart points per pack. They have 12 grams of protein and four grams of fiber in a cookie and they are delicious. These are three smart points and these are gluten free. Also, I love the past the peas. These are delicious. These have 
six grams of protein and only three sugars per bag. This is the maple bacon. These are delicious as well. Three smart points, non-GMO, protein past the peas. These are also gluten-free. These are amazing. So check out proteinwise.com. Use my link and discount code for $10 off. And there's a link below for nutrition as well. Of course, I'm going to be taking my tried and true trusty built bar as my morning snack. I am in love with the cinnamon, you guys. It's so good. I love it. I know it's controversial. I love the cinnamon, but I've got raspberry, orange, cinnamon, lemon, and vanilla. So that is one built bar per day. I probably will take one for Saturday as well since we'll be traveling back from camping, but I'll show you guys that in a different video. But I love the cinnamon. You can, by the way, order a full box of the cinnamon. So go to builtbar.com, use my code here on the screen, save 10% and free shipping. Three Smart Point candy bar, literally, loaded with protein, 15 grams of protein. My camera is struggling to focus, guys. The struggle is real. But there you have it, the Built Bar. This is the raspberry, there we go. 15 grams of protein, six grams of fiber, four sugar, four fat. They keep you full because of the fat and the protein, but they're only three points. And they literally, literally taste like a candy bar. So order yourself some Built Bars. I'm also going to take a Too Good yogurt. I really like this yogurt. Two grams of natural sugar, no added sugar, three carbs. I really like the vanilla and I love to top it with my Julian Bakery Pro Granola. I love this granola so much. This is the vanilla cinnamon cluster, paleo and keto, gluten-free, grain-free, nothing artificial, no GMO, no preservatives, soy-free. And this particular one has prebiotics and probiotics. I'll top my granola with about a tablespoon and it is zero points. So it gives that nice added crunch to my yogurt. You can have one half of a cup of the pro granola for two smart points. Have it with almond milk, top it your yogurt, have it by itself. It is literally so good. And what other granola on the market has two points. So you can use my code here on the screen to save yourself 10% and get free shipping. Make sure you click the link in the description box and then you have to enter my discount code at checkout. You have to click the link to get the discount. So there you have it, the pro granola. Definitely, definitely try it. Several flavors, espresso, chocolate, peanut butter, vanilla, and then the vanilla cinnamon cluster. So I have some of the best snacks on the planet that I'm taking with me this week. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW meal prep. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the fun recipes that I shared with you. Seriously, everything is a must make recipe, that cake, that potato salad, those waffle sandwiches. If you are interested in the mini dash waffle maker, I do have it linked down in my Amazon store below. It comes in quite a few colors. I love the cute little teal one. You guys have to get one. It makes it so easy to make the perfect size low point breakfast. So again, I hope you enjoyed this week's meal prep. If you're new to my channel, I would like to extend a huge warm welcome. Welcome to the family. Make sure that you subscribe, hit that little bell. That way you'll get notified every single time that I upload. I do upload videos every day of the week for the most part. Um, there's one that pops up every single day, so you don't want to miss out. Give this one a thumbs up comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this week's meal prep. And of course, are you going to try these recipes because you will not be disappointed. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye.